Targets over top uh, that he had, so um, we knew he was the top target. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't feel like we did a good enough job of limiting him in his big plays, and we knew he was going to get all the targets, but I think he had 14 targets, 12 catches, so that's not good enough. How do you keep this from snowballing into next week? Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to play on Sunday, so just as a team, as a group, defense, offense, special teams, we're going to have to come together and uh, practice as hard as we can. I mean, that's the only other way that I know how to go. Um, Obviously, it's going to be a lot of questions and things like that, but we have to come together as, and be as tight as possible and just keep working. Uh, obviously, this is a long year. It's only week two. Um, we got 15 more games left, so it's very early in the season, and um, we have to believe that we can get this thing turned around and how just much, take it day by day. How much was it them? How much was it you, you guys? It was definitely a mix of both, but, you know, I got to give them credit. I mean, they played a, a really great game. Um, we felt like we was going to have to make them earn everything. And uh, we did it sometimes, but then, you know, in that second half, we didn't, we, we really didn't make them earn anything. You know, they were taking shots all down the field, um, miscommunications in the secondary and things like that. So uh, they did a lot of things that um, we, we just didn't handle right, honestly, you know. It just, it just one of those games, honestly. KB, as a leader on this team, what do you feel you need to do to kind of set the tone to make sure it maybe doesn't kind of spiral out of control? Like, what do you, how do you kind of approach going into such a game? Yeah, I approach uh, this week the same way I approached every week, which is practicing my ass off, uh, meeting as hard as I can, you know, communicating with the guys in the meeting rooms. And, you know, I'm not going to switch up my whole, everything that I've done up until this point. I feel like um, we obviously have some things we need to clean up, but, like I said, it's still early, man, but I, I still believe in this group and I believe that we'll get this thing turned around. We just got to take it one day at a time, one game at a time, find a way to get one win. You mentioned miscommunication in the secondary. I mean, how, how critical was that tonight facing such a dangerous you know, passing offense? Yeah, like I said, I mean, and, and some of it was, it was a couple of miscommunications there, but then some of them just, they were just winning that one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know. Uh, like you said, Diggs had a really good game. Um, but for the most part, I felt like we limited a lot of the other guys uh, limited the run game, but like Diggs just had a day. And, um, you know, when we're facing teams like that, we know he's the number one guy. And obviously, Gabe Davis didn't play. We had to find ways to limit his. I mean, we can't control if he's throwing the ball or not, but we got to find a way to limit those big yards and those big catches. And, uh, I mean, three tubs isn't good enough for us. Yeah, we made mistakes. Um, penalties, um, that hurt us. Um, we couldn't get in the drives. We didn't convert on some downs. Um, turned the ball over in the second half. That's how now you win football games in this league. We know you got to be efficient on third and second to put us in good situation on third down. We didn't do that, and they got the best of us. How frustrating is that knowing you guys have the talent to the ball score points, but just really important Yeah, um, it's a long season. Um, we got to clean. We got to have a quick mind. We got a quick turnaround this week. We got a Sunday game at home. Um, got to get stuff fixed quick. So, um, we got to clean up the details, but it's not over. Um, we know it's a long season, and we just got to keep it going. Yeah, you don't want to make excuses, um, but you want your guys out there. We got, um, you hate when you see guys on your team get hurt. Um, that definitely takes a toll. But um, next guy's got to step up and make plays. But you want to see guys bounce back from that. You never want to see one of your, your buddies get hurt. This franchise obviously hasn't been home since 2012. Still a lot of football left to play. What do you guys need to do to kind of? Regroup and get ready for Vegas on Sunday. Right, um, we got to turn the page. Um, when we land to Mars, we got to turn the page. We got to move on. Um, you dwell on it, um, it'll happen again. So you got to move, turn the page, and get a, a quick turnaround. We got to get it all ready and fix what we can and go out there and, and play on Sunday. Yeah, you mentioned the penalties and the turnover. It's not, not very char characteristic of this team, right? Especially since Braves got here. How frustrating was that tonight? Yeah, um, that's you know that's a formula for losing here. If you turn the ball over, a lot of penalties. <laughs> You don't get many opportunities in this league. You got to be good. Everybody's good in this league, and when you give the other team plays, um, it's not going to come out on your side. Um, you know, I would just say, you know, it's a team effort. Um, you know, we all could have been better um, on that drive, any throughout the whole game. Honestly, um, you know, we just got to come back next weekend. You know, get to work. How frustrating is it you know, when you guys have the talent to move the ball and score points? And you, just to do it? Um, you know, it sucks to lose. You know, nobody likes to lose. Um, you know, but. You know, it just shows you, you know, you need to come to work every day. You know, and that's what we're going to do, and we're going to get back out there. Yeah, obviously, you always too, not where you want to be, but, you know, an opportunity to come back home and play the Raiders. How much are you guys looking forward to that? What do you guys need to do to kind of turn things around in the short 
Um, you know, we just got to go out there and, um, you know, hone in on the little details um, and, you know, just go play ball. Getting the ball, stopping the run, um, or dropping punts, uh, turnovers, all that stuff. Not good football all around throughout the whole game. Robert, what do you guys have to do to make sure this is a learning experience and that it, it kind of doesn't spiral out of control? Uh, control, we can control. Obviously, penalties. Um, all, all the stuff that happens throughout the game. I mean, we got to make plays for our quarterback. We got to get our running back going. Uh, obviously, make some stops on defense and protect the ball when we're, we're receiving punts. Um, just have to let my team down. You know, not much to it. Just poor technique, late on the call. Nothing more to it. You know, just let the team down. Second time in as many weeks. I know, you know, they you know, have confidence to push back there to, to make plays and the return game. Mm -hmm. Frustrating is that to have that happen again for the second time. Yeah, it's extremely frustrating. You know, um, it's more so you just feel like you let the whole team down. Um, everyone you go work with. Um, yeah, it's really disappointed in myself. The offense as a whole didn't seem to really get going after that first scoring drive. Are they doing anything different defensively to, to kind of brush you guys up? Or? No, you know, um, just we didn't play well. They played a great game. Um, first first drive you saw, we came out good. Um, from there, just, you know, too many mistakes. I was going to say, I know it's your first year here, but, you know, this team, the penalties and the turnovers has really many characteristics of this team, especially since Rainbow got here. How frustrating is that tonight? Yeah, uh, real frustrating, but, you know, um, it's another game to look forward to. Just go back, go to work, and uh, move on for next week. Uh, I just think uh, we just got lock in and do what we coach to do, pay attention to the details and practice, and come out and execute. A guy like Allen, when he gets into a rhythm, like how, how tough is it, and especially with digs, I mean, how tough is, uh, of a combination is that to stop? I mean, if, uh, if you're not locked in, have your eyes in the right place, and do what you're supposed to do, being, uh, have the right alignment, and things like that, they're going to beat you, they're going to execute on your mistakes. So, like, they're going to take what they can get, and, like, we can't give up easy, give them easy things. We got to, like, compete. Right. I know the focus coming in was to make sure that, you know, Allen didn't get rolling to his right where he's dangerous. Seemed like he was able to do that, and he even went to his, his left for that one touchdown pass. How frustrating was that tonight to try to defend what they were doing offensively? I'm not sure what, which pass you're talking about, but... It, anytime like you give up a touchdown, it's frustrating. Like no matter what the case is, anytime you give up a X play, it's frustrating. 0 and 2, and not, obviously not where you want to be, but still, you know, a lot of a lot of football left to play. 15 more games. What do you guys have to do to regroup and get ready for Sunday against Vegas? Uh, lock in, uh, do more, pay pay attention more to the detail, and uh, just do what we coach to do, and then yeah, execute when the game time come, but start in practice.